Hi YouTube. Well, um, I've done the next stage of the uh, rocket stove, as I said I would do, and I'm going to show you that what I've, what I've actually done. Um, I've cut out the uh, the hole that I taped up previously, which you you saw, and so that's it cut out. Okay, and also I've cut the top out of my pipe this was some stainless steel container um, probably for uh, I don't know spaghetti or something I don't know some sort of holder but anyway it doesn't matter but that fits into there perfect uh, I'm not going to push it all the way now because it's pretty snug fit and so I've got to do it you know using two hands but that will then be going into, into here like this and that will fit into that so the hole will be centralized in the container uh, the next thing I did uh, was this we, as you see I cut the shape of that and the lid for this boiler I've also marked out the same principle. I used the um, masking tape over the top, put the this upside down onto it in the center, uh, marked around it with a, a felt pen, and then proceeded to uh, cut the center out using some tin snips. Uh, once I've got it, don't cut it out too much. Always leave a fraction smaller than the actual size of the hole, and then you can finish that off um, using a, a a drill and some one of those emery cloth well it's kind of an emery um, firing thing it just takes off the excess metal quite quickly on the inside didn't take long at all really so this then will as you can see um, not sure which way around it's going to go exactly yet but that will go into there okay and this is going to be the sort of thing now is you can see it's a nice it's going to be a nice size this to to work at so i've decided what i'm going to do to connect that tomorrow is um is weld the stainless steel pipes together um hopefully so fingers crossed we can do that okay and um and then put it all together and then I'm going to fill it with uh, vermiculite. Now this top at the moment just rests on the top snuggling. And I think with the vermiculite in there should hold it. Because it's a good tight fit on here. Should hold it in place quite easily. But I may just find a way of fixing this on. Um, with some sort of snap clips that go over the top. Drill them to the side and spring them up over the top. I'm sure I can find something like that. Uh, so they can be removed when I want to and take the lid off for whatever reason if I had to um, and I think that and it'll just make it a little bit more sturdy as well the handles I think I'm going to leave in place because I think they'll be useful and because of the vermiculite I don't think that will get too hot to be a concern to the to the handles it won't melt them or anything so that'll be good um, yeah anyway there we go that's that's it for now and I'll uh, I'll show you the next stage when we're done. I think this is going to be cut down as well. Um, I may not cut it all the way down. may just leave a little lip there because that's always handy to have. Um, just in case you get a bit of uh, expansion with the heat of the thing. As, it's, uh, as it gets hot it sometimes warps the, the stainless steel a little bit. And so I don't want to cut that so, so level that all of a sudden this pops above it and spoils the thing. So... I'm going to leave a bit of a ridge so I've, I've always got that to be able to take off or put over when I come back but I don't want too much of this height above it I don't think that's really necessary so I shall do that uh, anyway thanks for watching and I uh, hope this is uh, useful to you if you're going to uh, make one yourselves and uh, I'll keep you informed on the next development thanks again bye for now